When it is a strong seller's market like we have had this year, it is very tough for buyers to purchase a home. We have had multiple offers on just about every sale. I want to show you how you can bid on a house with multiple offers and win a bidding war. One important step before purchasing a home is to get a pre-approval letter where the loan officer gathers all your supporting documents and puts it into a desktop underwriting system and that would be called a pre-approval letter. And the best way is to have your lender submit your file to an underwriter and get a conditional approval prior to submitting your offer. It is also super important to pick a lender who is reputable, who communicates, who can close in a timely fashion and has a great track record. I always ask my lender to call the listing agent to tell them how wonderful my buyer is and how well qualified they are. Every listing agent wants to work with a lender who is qualified and communicates. You can waive your inspection or you can do a pre-inspection. Now, I never suggest waiving your inspection. There can be a multitude of problems with a home that you cannot see during your showing time. Many of them can be very costly. A pre-inspection can be a great alternative. This means you would have the inspection conducted on the house prior to writing your offer. The downfall to this is you have to pay for it, but you would know what was wrong with the house prior to writing your offer. There is a 10 day verification period built into our purchase and sale agreement where a buyer has 10 days to verify any of the information that is on the listing agreement or that the seller or listing agent told them. You can waive this verification period to make your offer stronger. You need an excellent real estate agent who can win a multiple offer situation. How do you find this out? Ask them. Ask them what their strategy is for multiple offers and what is their track record. You are purchasing one of the biggest investments of your life and you should be working with a real estate agent that has experience. You can offer to pay extra money if the appraisal comes in low. A lender can only lend based on the sales price. If the appraisal comes in lower than the sales price, then either the seller has to come down to the appraised amount, the buyer has to make up the difference in extra funds, or the offer would fall apart. Offering to pay extra money towards your down payment if an appraisal comes in low is a great assurance for the seller and is one of the best negotiation tools. You can offer more than the list price. Money talks. Another way to do this is to use an escalation addendum. An escalation addendum says that you will pay a certain amount of money over and above a competing offer to a maximum sales price. You can waive your financing contingency. If you got a conditional approval from your lender, you are mostly approved. Now I say mostly because life happens and things can come up unexpectedly. You can write a letter to the seller telling them about yourself and your family and how much you love their home. Sellers legally are supposed to practice fair housing laws. They are not supposed to pick an offer based on a letter. They are supposed to pick an offer based on an offer and its terms. You can review the title contingency and homeowners association information in advance, so you don't need to include these contingencies in your offer. You can make your earnest money non-refundable after a certain timeline or from the get-go. You need to be very, very sure that you are financially secure with your loan and life is going great because if you do not close for any reason, you would not receive your earnest money back. It would go to the seller. There are some clauses we can put in there if the seller does not close, but that is a little bit of a gray area and hard to enforce. One really important tool that gets overlooked sometimes is the real estate agent on the buyer side building rapport with the listing agent. Sellers want their homes to sell efficiently and effortlessly, and listing agents want the same. They want to work with an agent 
that they know will get the transaction closed and communicate with them. Winning a multiple offer situation is not easy. Using as many of these tips as possible will be helpful. Now I still have a few tips and tricks up my sleeve, but I can't share them all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.